Now, uh, Luke, can you tell me, what has the Ballyhea campaign achieved? Well, the main thing that it's achieved is that it has kept uh, the fact that we have been ripped off uh, by the banking sector and ripped off by the ECB, and uh, it has meant that people are not forgetting about this. Even though we're talking about a massive amount of money, people do forget unless they're constantly reminded. And this protest has not only reminded uh, ordinary individuals, but it's also reminded politicians, and any time politicians politicians uh, wanted to put it to the back of their mind. Jermud and uh, all of the people here were very quick to remind them, whether that be in uh, visits to the central bank, whether that be uh, private members' motions in uh, the Dáil, or whether that be out in the European Parliament itself. And uh, while today might be the final weekly march, it is uh, the beginning of something else because uh, everyone has finite energy and while the energy won't be put into the weekly march, that same energy and more energy will you be used out in the European Parliament and used with our parliamentarians here to change what was a terrible injustice. Okay. Could I ask what could be the next step for maybe Germans and the Ballyhame movement? Um, uh, the next step is uh, to uh, politically uh, put uh, pressure on uh, elected members of Dáil Éireann and to put pressures on members of the pressure on the member of the Euro members of the European Parliament uh, to uh, make sure that this issue doesn't go away until this debt goes away. And uh, also, uh, what Jeremy can do, Jeremy is working out in the European Parliament with myself. He's covering the Econ or the Economics Committee, and uh, with his help out there, I will be able to. To, uh, highlight what's going on uh, every day that that committee is held. Brilliant. Thanks a million. Mayor All Lewis, right, Marcus. Thanks again. No Pleasure. problem. Delighted. Ashley.